yellow. Here in Puto, not the other bad word that I already forgot, which means Yahoo, um, in front of a purple guitar from uh, Deleuve, which sounds Belgian to me. For some reason, it sounds Belgian. But I probably am, I'm not supposed to say that about French people. I don't know. I'm probably stepping on some toes, and you know what? Who gives a crap? Hey, Deleuve guitars. Um, one of them is broken. It brought a fucked up broken guitar. Might be the camera that's reversed. Who knows? Um, it's also the prettiest one with really cool colors and, and, and really nice uh, framed fretboard. And it's really nice and thin. French walnut. I mean, this is fucking French walnut. This isn't your everyday walnut. That's not your British walnut. It's most certainly not your Russian walnut. No, no, we're not touching that. It's not German walnut, which is the second most superior walnut in the world. But the most superior walnut in the world is, of course, French walnut. I'm saying this because these guys over there have knives. And um, I have to say that because they're threatening me. So it, I, I said French walnut is the best. Yes, I already I said it. Because I'm French, I know that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, this is the man who uses the French walnut on the guitars. Uh, Quentin, or how, how do you say this in French? Quentin. Quentin. Also, it's, it's up here. If, you, if you're wondering what the freaking logo is, that's not boobs or something. This is... You hold your guitar. Yeah. Wait, no, no, this, no, wait, wait. Go over, go over there, go over there, run over there. Hold it over here, freaking lefty. Um, that's a, no, wait. Did you do the logo the wrong way on this? No. I think you did. I'm pretty sure you did. <laughs> say that again. No, no, no. Say, say that, what, what did you just say, Quinta? No, nothing. I just think you just said, oh, fuck. Yeah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I love these videos. That's amazing. Hey, come on. Shit happens, right? Shit happens. It's unmade. So. And see, nobody knows what it means anyway. So let's look at it on a real guitar. <laughs> on a man's guitar, you know? Not the stupid lefties. So, QD. Quentin de Leuve. I think that's what that means. So now you know what the logo means. And when you see this, do not Google QD guitars because that's not a thing that exists. Google Deleuve. Marketing gone wrong on this, but guitars gone right because you touch these and the neck through, do they all have neck through? Yeah, yeah, all, uh, all our guitars are neck throughs. Um, we have here, you, you have the fourth version of the, of the guitars uh, by, the, by this one or this one. Uh, this one was one of the, our first uh, it was a sort of prototypes. We are a kind of young company, you know. Uh, we have uh, maybe one... Well, you, you're a young man, I mean, you know. You're not my age, so everything is young, obviously. So uh, this is very traditional shape, yeah. traditional shape, but then you got the neck through, also very likely French walnut. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You like the French walnut. French walnut everywhere, but... And some type of guitars for more metal things. Uh, we can use uh, Ziricot, I think, in English. I don't know. It's, it's, it, people say it different ways. Ziricote, um, yeah, Ziricot, but I say Ziricote because I'm freaking German and I say it with a T. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Canadian maple. You know. Ah, maple body. That's. That should have, I mean, if we think, if we believe tone wood is a thing, which I do, then that should be very fast and trebly. I mean, a little bit more than some other woods. Um, but you have brass? Yeah. That adds to the weight, right? Yes, it's, it's very thin brass. So um, the, the, the entire guitar is a little bit heavier than a French walnut one uh, because of the maple. But it sounds good for metal things. Yeah. But Canadian maple, is this from the French part of Canada or the English-speaking part of Canada? Excuse me, I don't know that. <laughs> I don't have this. Let, you have to you just say it's from the French-speaking part because then we're sticking with the whole French walnut, French-Canadian maple. Okay. You know, make it a theme. It's from, it's from Quebec. <laughs> of course it is. Or Le Quebec, as we say. Um, so the thing about this guitar that's very special, um, Jens, come over here. Get the shape directly straight on here, please. 
because I want people to see the specialty, which is, which is just, it's just a tiny little special thing that they did. And if you look at the lower horn and the, the roundness there, which isn't fully round, it is, there's a little bit of a, an edge and then there's a little bit of an edge right there. So that makes it the tiniest bit different and the tiniest bit special. How, how, how is the camera? Is it still heavy? It's getting heavier by the minute. And it's only video too. Do you uh, regret asking me, hey, can I help you with the camera? Yes, I do. Yeah, can we go home now? No, no, no. We will have a lot more of these. Look, I spent four and a half thousand bucks, so you got 600 grams less. Thank you very much. There you go. Um, so this is for me it's something that I see and I go like, oh, this is a signature kind of move. They should do more of that. So here we got a freaky deaky one. First of all, I love that the F-holes are not F-holes, but they're raindrop, teardrop shaped, two of them. I love the top, love the flame. Uh, they're missing a pickup right there. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's, you should look in the shop if it's lying on the ground somewhere or, or where it, maybe, I don't know, your daughter stole it. I don't know, but there's, there's something missing. But, but you added a piezo. Right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Piezo pickups from Graf Graftec. Ah, oh, Graftec. Hey, Alex. <laughs> of course, uh, of course. French Canadian. No, not really. No, no, no. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely not. Uh, and for this one, we we uh, we choose to to don't put uh, bridge uh, pickups on it. But on the TC Air, uh, on the on the other side, we have uh, P90s uh, on the bridge, on the bridge and the neck and and the Piezo. Okay. So, um, so this is definitely not your metal guitar. No. <laughs> it um, also features beautiful maple binding. It's not that heavy. Well, because obviously, you know, hollow. Um, it does have a tree as a neck. It doesn't have to. These, of course, can be custom ordered. Um, the the metal one has more of a in the direction of Ibanez. It's not that thin, but it's, you know, a fluent neck. But um, this definitely, when you're holding it, that, that's quite a bit of guitar right there. Um, super small headstock, um, a massive guitar tit, or in Spanish, teta de guitarra. I already forgot what it was in French, something with le, le booby de guitar, I don't know, guitar booby. Um, locking tuners, it has a ridiculously small headstock, which I don't know yet how, what I think about it, because in proportion to the guitar, I love small headstocks, I love them but um, might be a little bit too small. And then, of course, we are featuring again the French walnut. I mean, it's stunning. The, the French walnut is stunning. So walnut as additional woods for neck strips or something I've heard of. But as a complete wood for the guitar, um, I, I don't know about it. I, I haven't seen people do it. If we say just for now that tone wood exists and it makes a difference, which of course we both believe. What are the traits of walnut for guitars? Um, it's about uh, like, um, oh, I don't, I forgot the, the word, uh, acajou in French, um, mahogany, yeah. The, the goal is uh, to, uh, to have the sound a little bit like mahogany, you know. Is it a little bit harder than mahogany? No, no. No, it's... On the opposite side, it's a bit, it's um, softer, really. Yes, it's uh, softer. Yeah. So it should technically, if tone wood is a thing, be even warmer, even rounder, and have a softer attack. A, li a little bit, yeah, yeah. I would have thought it's harder than mahogany, but what do I know? I don't make guitars. I just bitch about them. Um, and then we got this one, but that's that looks similar. But you have where, where's the one with your with the things in the thing? Oh, uh, the, You're hiding the, that somewhere. So they're hiding the one where they did something special. Go to their website. We have something special here. Oh, there's something special here. Ah, haha. -ha. Yeah. That's. It's a, it's a sort of Kintsugi uh, inspired uh, techniques with aluminum in, um, inlay in the neck. See, I don't have to worry about details because I got Jens. <laughs> and if I get home and his shots are brilliant, he's hired. Um, and if not, these videos will suck. But if they suck, it's purely because of Jens. That is beautiful. And you, can, you can't feel it except for the fact that it's a little bit colder. 
yeah, yeah. It's that's beautifully done. That's in no way in the way. It's just the tiniest bit of a temperature difference. Beautiful. And you've also done this on tops. Yeah, yeah. On like where uh, you probably had cracks in the wood. Yes, absolutely. Because the this wood, uh, the U, Y E W, um, uh, in this sort of wood, uh, we have sometimes uh, little cracks, and we decide to uh, use it with uh, and repair it with aluminum. You know. How is you can't pour the aluminum, so this is cut and then. Inlaid, yeah, right? Absolutely, yeah. By hand, uh, with a uh, uh, wood knife, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, with, um, I don't know, uh, surgery instruments, scalpel in French, I don't know in... Uh, or scalpel. Scalp yeah, with a scalpel. In German, scalpel. So I think we're, you know, I think we all understand each other here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, with scalpels and other tools like that. And uh, it's... Totally that, is, that is a unique kind of a little detail. Yes. Way cool. So pricing-wise, we're actually talking not ridiculous. We're somewhere between, I don't know, 25 and 37, something like that. Yeah. Um, 3K. Three, around 3K. Around 3K, 3 to 4K, yeah. I mean, handmade by young people in France with really cool details. I mean, pay less for this one because it's re it's missing a pickup, okay? But well, no, don't pay less for that one because they put one less pickup but a lot more wood on the neck, okay? Um, also, please make fun of him for reversing that uh, logo. That's funny as fuck because shit happens. And it shows you that you're a... Uh, are you a lefty? No, I'm, uh, I'm right-handed. Yeah. So that's what you were thinking. You were probably also testing it right-handed. I mean... Whoever buys that gets something extremely special and extremely unique that he will never, ever build again. So actually, that's more money, right? No, actually not, but... Should be more money because it's ultra unique now. In a few years, yeah. But, but. It's like the only dealer for the re reverse logo. And then, you know, 50 years from now, people will spend 200,000 bucks on, on this one unique guitar that only exists once. If he gets as big as Gibson, you know, then that one is probably like the greenie. That'll, that'll be like the million dollar guitar. I'd be very happy for that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who knows? People are idiots. I mean, Gibson is selling guitars that look like a famous guitar for 50,000 bucks. And 50 people of you were idiotic enough to buy it. Because you actually think it is like the guitar, which it isn't. It's a mock-up. You dumb shits. Give them more money so they can sue other people, people like these nice builders here. You dumb shits. Um, that being said, links below and animals at the end. Yeah.